Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an oldie but goodie, but with a slight twist. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a U-Part unit from OMG Queen. Now I'm no stranger to the U-Part wig. That's actually was like my initiation into the wig world back when Tierra Monet went by T's Black Pearl. However, back then I used to make my U-Part and I've never actually installed a store-bought U-Part. So this is gonna be the first time I'm reviewing a store-bought U-Part. This is the Kinky Straight U-Part unit from OMG Queen. This is in 20 inches. So I did try this unit on before I permed my hair because I wanted to give you guys a look of what this hair would look like if you have a four type textured hair. So I'm gonna insert clips for that video so you could see what it looked like when I tried it on with my hair naturally air dried, not straightened or anything else. So this is what the unit looks like when you receive it. There are two combs on the side and one in the middle. And there's also these wig clips on both sides as well as a wig comb in the back. Now it does have this a little um, elastic band in the middle. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and cut that off. I'm gonna take this comb, I'm gonna slide that in right there. I didn't put it exactly at the front because it does have a little extra space right there. So you wanna leave space for that. And that's gonna allow that to blend in better right there. Take the comb in the back, slide that under that braid and take the last comb and slide that in right there. Next, I'm gonna take my leave out out. So when doing a leave out, you wanna be sure and leave out enough hair to cover on top of the tracks at the top of the U part. As you can see, this is a very full unit. It is in 150% density, but you guys know when you come to kinky straight hair, the hair is very thick. So even 150% density is very big. So this is an install in its basic sense of the word. This is how you can wear it if you're just looking for a protective style and you don't really wanna add any heat to your hair. However, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to flat iron this unit just to tame it a little bit, as well as add some layers in it to unleash its true potential. So when straightening this hair, initially I was straightening the hair using the flat iron at the normal temperature that I usually straighten hair, which is about 375 to 400. However, I noticed that the hair was becoming just a little bit too straight and it kind of doesn't make sense to have the hair that straight if you have kinky straight hair. And I'm gonna let you see what it looks like after I finish straightening the entire unit um, at the, its normal temperature. The hair lost all of its natural kinks. So I then decided to only straighten the bottom of the hair pretty straight. And the reason why I, put, I straightened it straight was just to kind of decrease some of that volume in this unit because as you guys saw, this unit does get very big. And when I got towards the top, I just lightly glossed over it with the flat iron. And this is what the final results looked like. I'm gonna put up a split screen so you can see this, the comparison between straightening the entire unit straight and only straightening half of the unit straight. So this time I opted to go for a middle part so I'm just going to put a straight part down the middle and I kind of underestimated the amount of hair I needed to leave out to cover the back. So in turn, that ended up with me having to just kind of take some of that hair that initially was intended to be for the parting space and use that to cover the back tracks. Next, I decided to go ahead and add some baby hairs. And as always, I like to use my Extreme Gel from Wetline. That really helps slick my kinky roots down without turning it white. And this is what it ended up looking like once I was finished. Mm. 
Lastly, I decided to just go ahead and cut some layers in it just to give it a little bit more dimension just so it didn't lay so flat. So I cut a couple of layers into the unit and then I went ahead and tried to add some curls. Now this is kinky straight hair. You guys know kinky straight hair is very resistant to curling. The best way to curl kinky straight hair is to just go ahead and flexi rod it. So I would suggest planning in advance. Now you can curl it with a curling iron. However, they're not gonna last you too long. And to just kind of finish this up, I decided to tie my hair down and that's mainly just to lay those edges that I slicked down. I'm gonna leave it on for about five minutes and I'll be right back. And this is what the final results looked like. Now this is the hair straightened, but still unpermed. As you can see, it's still a natural texture. And I'm just showing you how I was playing around with the part in space. It's the same leave out that I had. However, it does allow some versatility to change the part in space ever so slightly if you choose. Okay, so now I'm gonna let you guys see what this U part will look like if you have permed hair. I'm gonna go for a middle part and my nails are too long so I'm not gonna be able to braid my hair so I'm gonna have my daughter braid my hair for me. Okay, so since my hair is really short, I know most people like to put their hair in a lot of cornrows but my hair is short and I change up my hair too often to actually do that. I asked her to do one braid going straight to the back and then the second braid was going straight to the back but it had a slight curve on it. And the reason I suggest adding a curve is because it helps the hair blend in a lot better without showing your leave out. Okay, now I'm gonna try this on. I have to be really conscious to blending the hair on top. And also because it's short, in my opinion, the less leave out, the better. And here I'm lightly gliding over the leave out hair with the unit underneath just to ensure that seamless blend. And this is what the final results look like. I think it looks pretty natural. What do you think? Be sure and let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so my daughter just came by and she said it looks natural. I don't know what it's looking like on the camera, but that's a good thing. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do with this unit. So I gave you three different scenarios so you could see if any of your hair textures fit within them so you can get a better idea on how this unit will look. One good thing about this unit is that it comes in different colors. So you could get this in natural black, off black, jet black, and I believe there's like a brown color as well. So that's a really good bonus because you don't really see that many options for units nowadays. So I'm really happy to see that that's offered. Another thing is that this unit actually comes with a right side part, a left side part, and a middle part. Had I known, I would have just ordered a left or right side part because you guys know I'm not really a fan of the middle part. But as you can see, the middle part is pretty versatile and you can actually flip it around and wear it as a side part as well. Now, the starting price for this unit is around $160 and I believe that's for a 16 inch. So that's pretty good pricing in my opinion. This is a 20, I'm gonna stand up really quick just so you can see where it lands on me. And as you can see, it's pretty long. So a 16 inch, in my opinion, would be like a very perfect natural length. Not that 20 is not natural as well, um, but I think 16 inch would be perfect for me 
for every day. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this unit, as always, I will have all the links provided in the description box down below. And if they do have any coupon codes, I'll also have that in the description box as well. But before we get out of here, guys, I'm gonna need y'all help naming this wig. What are we gonna call her? Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name, as well as the person who submitted that name, will be listed across the screen. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And as always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.